India's successful test of Agni Prime missile from a rail-based mobile launcher marks a significant leap in its strategic delivery systems, not because of the missile alone, but because of the platform it was launched from. The rail-based mobile launcher is a technological innovation that fundamentally alters the geometry of India's deterrence posture. Unlike conventional road mobile systems, which are constrained by terrain, visibility and logistical complexity, the rail-based mobile launcher integrates seamlessly into India's vast railway network. This allows for cross-country mobility without prior permissions or infrastructure modifications, enabling rapid deployment and launch readiness from virtually any location. The launcher is designed to blend with civilian rail traffic, drastically reducing the chances of detection by adversary surveillance systems. This stealth mobility ensures survivability in a first strike scenario and enhances second strike credibility, an essential pillar of India's nuclear doctrine. Technically, the rail-based launcher is a canisterized system mounted on modified train coaches. Canisterization allows the missile to be stored and transported in a sealed container, protecting it from environmental degradation and enabling swift launch with minimal preparation. The launcher's integration with static and mobile rail platforms means it can be stationed or moved at will, offering both strategic ambiguity and tactical flexibility. This capability places India in a select group of nations alongside Russia and China that have operationalized rail mobile missile systems. The Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, and Strategic Forces Command SFC, have jointly developed this system and its successful deployment signals a matured command and control infrastructure capable of handling dispersed mobile assets. The missile itself, Agni Prime, is a next-generation intermediate-range ballistic missile with a strike range of 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers. It is designed to replace older variants like Agni 1 and Agni 2, offering superior performance with reduced weight and enhanced accuracy. The missile uses a two-stage solid propellant motor and is equipped with advanced navigation systems including ring laser gyro-based inertial navigation and satellite-based augmentation. These systems significantly reduce the circular error probability or CEP, making the missile highly precise even over long distances. The re-entry vehicle is maneuverable and capable of carrying conventional or nuclear payloads, ensuring mission flexibility across strategic and tactical scenarios. Agni Prime's canisterized design complements the rail-based launcher perfectly. The missile can be stored for extended periods and launched within minutes, reducing reaction time and increasing operational readiness. This synergy between missile and platform is not just a logistical convenience, it's a strategic multiplier. It allows India to maintain a credible deterrence without the need for fixed silos or exposed road convoys, both of which are vulnerable to preemptive strikes or surveillance. The rail-based system, by contrast, offers mobility, concealment and unpredictability, making it a nightmare for adversary targeting algorithms. Strategically, the implications are profound. The rail mobile Agni Prime system enhances India's second strike capability, a cornerstone of its no-first-use nuclear policy. It complicates enemy calculations by introducing uncertainty in launch locations and timelines. For Pakistan, whose missile systems are largely road mobile and more exposed, this development shifts the balance of survivability and response. For China, it signals India's intent to operationalize flexible deterrence across multiple fronts, including the Himalayan and maritime theatres. The system's ability to launch from anywhere within the rail network means India can project deterrence deep into adversary territory without relocating fixed assets. Moreover, this test is not an isolated event, it's part of a broader modernization drive. DRDO is actively developing ground support systems, command and control modules and integration protocols for future missile variants. The success of Agni Prime from a rail-based launcher sets the stage for similar deployments of longer-range systems like Agni 4 and Agni 5, potentially extending rail-based deterrence to intercontinental ranges. It also opens avenues for multi-platform integration, where rail, road and silo-based systems can operate in tandem, creating a layered and resilient strategic force. In essence, the rail-based launch of Agni Prime is not just a technical feat, it's a strategic recalibration. It blends mobility with precision, concealment with readiness, and ambiguity with credibility. It reflects India's evolving approach to deterrence, one that is agile, survivable, and technologically sophisticated. Far from being a boast, it's a quiet assertion of capability, grounded in engineering and driven by strategic necessity.